Welcome to the video. We have a new women's world record in the marathon, Berlin Marathon, Ethiopian runner, and it is Elliot Kipchoge's uh, second cousin, uh, sorry, second, 22nd cousin. Her name is Tigis Asefa of Ethiopia, and she has won the Berlin Marathon and set the all-time new women's record of, I think it's two, uh, two hours, 11 minutes, something. And crazy now some people say oh, okay yeah straight away she's taken the juice she's on the drugs she's not full natty bra bro all right she's on the athletic x program you know she's she's pinning etc no 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 i will explain to you why we can believe all right we can believe in the new generation of cycling mutants and running mutants and swimming mutants all right, let me show you the data all right we need science to prove this this is natural running we have far better technology now in the shoes Okay, and the nutrition is a big one. Because people are like, well, I've got a pair of Alpha Flies, but I ain't running no 220 marathons or 211 marathons. You know, I'm doing like four hours or whatever. It's nutrition, all right? We have the greatest running coach of all time is Dr. Robert Lustig, who, look at him. He, he's very, very lean, and he is the guy against sugar, all right? So he gets all these runners to get as lean as him by getting them off sugar, all right? Sugar, and, and none of, here's the thing. When you quit sugar... You can run faster, especially the marathon. The longer the run, the faster you run with without sugar, all right? And what happens is you don't need to eat or drink during the race. Maybe a bit of water, but just a sip, and you don't have any sugar. So you get doing sugar crashes, all right? And people say, what about the bonking? That's just fat adaption, all right? It takes about 17 years, but just pursue it and persist and resist, and you too will be up there at the front lines, okay? Uh, now, this photo is, I've heard, old one. It's from last year's. She's wearing the Ada Zero twos at a zero pro two very nice shoe there but that's the deal i mean let's look at cycling you know the the, the people are getting younger and faster and the bikes getting heavier it's aero gains okay and people go okay it's the shoes and running and the keto diet yep how about cycling yep it's the heavy bikes aero bikes disc brakes because people with disc brakes you can you can break later into the corners so the tour de france is actually going la the average speed is going higher because the riders can break later into the corners you know yeah yeah, yeah for sure and uh, so that brings up the average speed, and they're just monstering up the climbs. I mean, they're not climbing as fast as they did in certain other years, or they are, but <laughs> they are. But maybe some of the records aren't getting broken because they're blasting the entire. They can blast the entire stage now. Okay, we love the Tour de France over here in in, in uh, DuranRide.com service course. We love it. Let's go to swimming. Swimming, and first of all, let's just look at marathon the progression. All right. It's not drugs. There's not some new drug tech out there, okay? It's the shoes. It Look at your PRs. Look at how much faster you're running, okay, with the shoes. The shoes are the secret. Nike. If you're wearing Nike, you will win, okay? Nike. Nike would never, ever be associated with any drug athletes. They would not. Even if you're drinking too much coffee, you risk losing your Nike contract, okay? Nike's very, very strict. Shoes are handmade in the USA, it's all above board, all right? They pay their taxes in the Netherlands. It's, you know, if you know, you know, okay? So let's see the progression of the marathons. We see that in these last few years, something's going on, isn't there? There's sun in the water. It's ketones. It's keto. Keto diet is bacon fuel. These runners are eating kilos of bacon per week, and they're unclogging their arteries with bacon grease and just running faster, man. And your, your joints are lubed up. When, you, when your diet is bacon, like Robert Lustig's is, you develop very, very good knee lubrication joints, all right? The the, uh, the polysaccharide oils in the bacon fat lubricate your knee. It's like chain waxing. It's like immersive chain waxing. It's like a, you have, basically have like a $200 wax chain in your knees. So you just very high turnover. You have minimal friction. You have zero friction knees, all right? And they're selling them now. Zero friction knees. Okay, that guy from Adelaide, the, uh, the snake oil seller, he's doing zero friction kneecaps now. Very, very effective at world record progressions there. So nothing to see here. Everything's above board. There's no these these runners. They're not running from poverty. There's no temptation to use any drugs, and the drugs don't even work. Like there's there's show me the scientific study that proves EPO actually works. Like sh prove it. Show me. Like I asked my doctor. He was having a cigarette out at the hospital there. And I said, Hey doc, EPO, running marathons. So what's the deal? And he's he, in between coughs. He's like, Nah. Unless you've got anemia, it won't work. And I was like, oh, thanks. And he said, no worries, Harley. Have a good day, mate. And then uh, he gave me 50 bucks and asked him to get a bottle of whiskey. Yeah, so th that's the doctors know, okay? Ask your doctor. EPO, 
doesn't work unless you have anemia. Okay, it just doesn't work. And the studies, you know, there's no, no study yet. There's no, show me the Olympic world record holder, marathon runner, who did a study with EPO and, and it works. They, they, you know, they, they haven't done that study. They, work, they won't do the study because it doesn't work. Let's go to swimming. All right, we're seeing some swimming records here. What explains the swimming records? Is it some magic swimming suit? Are the swimmers wearing flippers? Are the men, you know, we're turning the men into robots and the women into men? What's going on? There's nothing wrong with being a man, being a, man a woman, or in between, or whatever you identify as. All right. My, my bicycle identifies as a motorbike sometimes, or an e-bike, and on Strava. It's, it's all good. We, we are progressive here. We accept everyone's pronouns. Whatever you identify as, we will accept you. Okay. So let's explain. Let's have a look at the records here in swimming. Some are getting broken. Some are just, there's like heaps of, since 2019, it's like, wow, even, even more. It's like, it's like the pool, pun intended, is deeper. The depth of talent in the swimming pool is deeper, pun intended. What explains that? It's the water technology, plus keto diet, all right? So the, the, the developed scientists have developed sugar-free water. You see those sugar-free drinks in the Coles supermarket, Sainsbury's, you know, Costco, et cetera? Okay, sugar-free water, you know, they, they've, they've, they've worked out a process to remove the sugar from the water, and they're making the swimming pools full of sugar-free water. Now, how is that for a scientific advantage? Because some pools were developing diabetes, diabetes, okay? So they worked out how... You know, these pools were coming to their doctors and saying, hey, I've got diabetes, and they had to dump all this insulin in the swimming pool, and they're like, we can't be doing this because it's expensive, and the pools are getting fat, and the pools were exploding, right? They were getting as big as Robert, Lust Robert Lusting's waistline, and uh, Robert Lusting's waistline, and so they had to work out how can we prevent the pools, the swimming pools, from catching type diabetes, because we know, we know sugar causes diabetes. You know, it's not fat blocking the insulin receptor site. No, 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 no. That's, that's impossible. You know, that's impossible. Ask your doctor when he's having a smoke. Anyway, so that's the deal, okay? It's nothing to see here. There's no drugs in cycling and swimming and running, all right? We do this. This is all just for fun and personal enjoyment. And they get a free pair of shoes or a pair of goggles or they get a 10% a, a discount on the Cervelo S5 or whatever. Like this, you know what I mean? This, this pressure to, to perform and win. No, 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 no. This, this, that does not exist. And there's zero temptation, zero pressure to win uh, with via performance enhancing drugs. It just does not exist. There's a few, you know, dodgy people out there. And Lance Armstrong. Maybe Lance Armstrong's probably still taking drugs. But we got rid of Lance, you know, and uh, now you have guys on Strava doing faster times as retired athletes than Lance did. Guys like Cookie Man, etc. Right? Eat your keto cookies, okay? Believe. Believe in people, all right? Believe in the media. You will be looked after. You'll have a great quality of life. Nothing to see here. This is all full natty bra. Thanks for listening. So remember that, gang. It is the sugar. Avoid the sugar and you'll go faster. Eat more bacon. Eat more meat. Meat is healthy. All right. And uh, that's what all the top athletes are doing. None of them eating rice or experimenting with vegan diets. No, 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 no. They're all anti-sugar, no sugar. All right. The world's fastest athletes, all natural. And they don't take any sugar at all. Okay. Sugar is bad. All right. Listen to Robert Lustig. Build an amazing physique. Fit, healthy physique like Robert Lustig. All right, if you wanted someone to run for help to save your life, would you pick me or Rob Lustig? There you go. You'd, I would pick Rob Lustig too. Well, the guy is running like sub 13 5Ks all right, on repeat, on repeat. The world's greatest ever running coach. And just a word on drug testing. Like They have security guards at the events. Like You know what I mean? Like, how, how are you going to smuggle drugs into Berlin Marathon? Like, Germans don't muss, muss, muss around. All right? They don't muss around in Germany, man. Uh, you think there's drugs in Germany, you'll be in for a very sharp, blunt surprise. All right? Germans don't use drugs. Germany has banned drugs. There is no drugs in Germany. Okay, it's very clean in professional sport. The prize money is the prize money is shared amongst all the participants. Okay, if anyone's struggling financially, can't pay the rent, you put you put your hand out, and they all looked after. The, hey, you added us, lucky. It's not about your running time. It's about your personality. Are you a nice person? Okay. Are you lifting your community? It's not about how many shoes you can sell in the billboard, the marketing campaigns. And no, 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 no. Stop being so negative, okay? It's all about your personality. It's not about your performances, okay? That is what society judges you on. Are you a good person, okay? Nice people like Kylie Jenner, looking after the environment, looking after people, right? That's why they're so popular, okay? It's not because they're put out there by the system to influence the young minds into what to be as an NPC. No, 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 no. It's not that at all. Okay? Drugs in sport are gone. 
We go to Lance Armstrong. We ban him for life. We ban him from running. We ban him from swimming. We ban him from cycling. We ban him from triathlon. When we ban Lance Armstrong, we ban drugs in sport. Okay? Believe, people. Believe.